So last week we were working on some empty hand versus staff techniques. This week we're going to work on some staff versus staff. And um, what we're going to start with is coiling. We're going to do some coil stinging. And we're going to do a, a drill with our partners. First thing, if, if you're stinging, the most common mistake that people make here is their front hand starts sliding back towards their back hand. You want to initiate from the ground up, get your whole body behind the strike, and extend everything forward towards your target. Now, if I'm fighting Devin, if we get on guard, uh, so yeah, staff, a little bit lower grip. You want to be about a fist length from the end of your staff so you can slide down a little bit more, okay? I could sting, I could attack his knee, and we're going to look at a technique for dealing with that. I could attack the groin, the solar plexus, throat, uh, any number of targets. We'll stick with right now attacking the chest for safety reasons. When you're doing this drill, if your partner accidentally misjudges, first of all, we want to keep reasonable space. We do want to be cautious that we're not hitting our partners. We're, we are just practicing. But for insurance purposes, if something goes wrong and, and you misjudge your timing on your block or they misjudge their distance, since you're just learning right now, you're not going to get hit in the face. So we'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay? Now, the coiling is I'm basically I'm drawing a circle with the staff. This hand is going to be used, there's a reciprocity going on here, yin and yang. This hand is going to pull as this hand pushes and turns over. So as he stings, I'm actually going to try to snap downward at an angle. I want to impart momentum into this weapon so that after his attack, I can follow up with an attack of my own and he's still recovering from uh, my deflection, okay? So, doing it slow, he's gonna sting, I'm gonna coil, now he's gonna coil. And then we can repeat, and then we can also add some footwork into this after. But that's where we're gonna start for now, okay? So again, remember, extend, which means initially figure out proper distance based on your reach. Don't draw this, this front hand back. You want to use both arms. You can make a larger circle for now. As you get better, like most movements that you learn in martial arts, you'll learn how to refine it, and you'll learn how to get more out of less. And you want, as, as this is pushing down, my body is engaging as well. We're using some of that white crane body mechanics, that, that spine, that chest and spine bow. And as we're doing that, we go into our crane stands on one leg posture. So this is coming down and this is coming up and then we're gonna land down and sting. Okay, so there's your, your basic coil stinging, one of the first matching patterns that you can do with a partner. All right, so get to work. <laughs> 